Okay, so here is my chicken coop. It was left here by the original owner of the property. And uh, it was a metal building with that green door on this side and the one green door you see going into the run. I modified this. I put this automatic feeding thing here. This wasn't part of it. Neither was that run. I built that run. So I've got feed here. Not much in that one, but plenty here. And then this is water. Now, you've seen water, but I put a, a little pipe fitting here and this screen to keep the ants out of the water. See the freaking ants? They're everywhere. And then I also modified this thing. He had the laying box just laying inside, but I took the laying box and actually mounted it to the wall. And for whatever reason, they like to get in these two boxes and all huddle together at night. They're not laying just yet. I'll probably put some fresh straw or hay in there. So I cut this rectangle out, made this PVC frame to uh, make it a little more supported, rigid. Blued the carpet in there. So when we go to get eggs, that's all we got to get right there. So the run is uh, like nine feet wide, no, eight feet, eight feet wide by 16 feet long and uh, a little over six feet tall. So I'm short enough to fit in there. My son has to duck. So I got a little latch when I come in here. So I did run power to it. So I got a little breaker box here, light here, and I've got a outlet up here and then an outlet right there and those are going to be for heat lamps so i've got a heat lamp right there and so this is where their feed comes through and if you feed crumbles uh, taking a, a cap and cutting it in half or not half but about a third this keeps the crumbles from going all over the ground and then here's the water it comes through this pipe and i've got these nipples here that they come and just get whatever amount of water they need. And so as recommended, I've got the uh, calcium on the right and the uh, grit on the left. I just put that in today. It might be too tall for them. I don't know. I'll just have to see how it works. And then I got a timer here, an extension cord going up and over for the fan because it gets hot here. And I even put radiant barrier in here because it gets damn hot inside this thing. And then here's their run. Occasionally they'll bat that little green ball around. That's, that's the only rooster I've got. And I call him Foghorn. And he is a chicken in every sense of the word. He is the scariest chicken ever. And so I've got two barred rocks. This one's Veronica and that one's Betty. I did not name the three white longhorns. But I did name this one. That's Big Mama. Hey, Big Mama. And that's her sister, Shy Girl. And Shy Girl got her name because when she was a chick, she would always just hide away from the others. And she doesn't, she's not very friendly. The Bard Rocks are very friendly. So, and they do like, they do like their afternoon snack. So, I just feed down there. And I use this cylinder as a chair when I come out here. All right, ladies, come on. Want a little snack? Huh? Pretty cool, pretty cool. I tell them the word pretty cool. So I think it's a Russian word meaning snack. I'm not 100% sure on that. I think it's a slang word. And then Foghorn, his dumb ass will cluck like a hen when I'm feeding him these uh, meal worms. And they love these meal worms. Come on, ladies. Foghorn, come get you some. Come here, Foghorn. Come on, Foghorn. Get in there, boy. There you go. Yeah, y'all y'all are being videotaped. That's my finger there, big mama. Yeah, they love these things. They go ape shit crazy over there. 
Shy girl, you want some? Shy girl. And you'll see. She's trying to get some. Shy girl has a vision problem. She cannot see up close. And I've tried to get her to come eat out of my hand. She won't. She's the only one that won't eat out of my hand. I'm hoping that that changes here pretty soon. But they have gotten big over the last 16 weeks. Come here, shy girl. Shy girl, come here. Shy girl, you want some? Yeah, come on. You see them all getting in there. Come on, shy girl. Come here, shy girl. Maybe we'll get you eating out of my hand first time on camera, huh? Come on, shy girl. Okay, well, that's it. That's the exciting chicken coop. Oh, one more thing. So surrounding my coop, I've got hardware cloth laying on top of a PVC frame and I've got it connected to this fence shocker right here. And so I got the wire run down, it goes out that corner and connects to the back. And then I've got it one side grounded to the frame of the, the building here because uh, it makes a good ground and this this uh shocker has killed uh oh hell i can't leave that in there veronica you think i betty you think you're king of the hill in there i don't think so i'm gonna get that out but uh anyhow i've killed uh three snakes with this thing and numerous frogs and uh sorry see you betty so uh it works really well and keeping out predators. So I really like this setup. And I've got lots of country out here. I'm on 10 acres. And uh, I may let them free range. I haven't seen any stray dogs in a while. But uh, yeah, we got lots of, lots of room. So anyway, that's that for now. More later.